day, mates. Kaylee Earthberry here. I'm in Western Australia, and today I'm going to be talking about this amazing medicinal plant we know in the West as tea tree, and its Latin name is Malaleuca alternifolia. Uh, there's 79 different species, 77 which are endemic to Australia, which means they grow here in Australia. Um, another name for uh, this plant is paper bark, um, because as you can see here, the bark is kind of papery and brittle. Um, and this tree was named tea tree, it's actually a shrub-like tree, um, by Captain Cook in the 1770s when he landed in Eastern Australia in um, today's New South Wales. Um, he used this plant as a tea because he observed the Bunjalung aboriginals using it as tea. And the aboriginals of Australia have been using this plant for thousands of years for different medicinal reasons. Um, one of the things you can do just with this plant, if you're in the bush and you get a cut, you can use the leaves as a poultice, which is um, basically you just activate the plant with your own saliva and um, get chew it up and put it directly on a wound to prevent infection. Um, you can also use the leaves by just crushing them as a hand sanitizer. And you can also make your own hand sanitizer using the distilled oil, which is mostly what we see in the West is the little bottles of oil that are um, made from distilling the leaves. Um, you can dilute it in water and make your own hand sanitizer. Um, it's an amazing insect repellent. It's actually been proven to be more effective than DEET, which is a neurotoxin found in most um, insect repellents. Um, and this has been used in the West for uh, over 100 years. It's been available in the West, and so we actually have a lot of scientific evidence proving its effectiveness for various things such as um, killing MRSA, which is a antibiotic resistant bacteria. Um, it's an amazing bacteria killer in general. It works great as a deodorant. Um, it actually kills the bacteria before it starts growing in your underarms, so it prevents um, smelling without the harmful antiperspirant qualities like aluminum that we have in our normal conventional deodorants. Um, you can use it as an antiseptic for wounds. You just dilute it with a little bit of oil. That's the uh, dilute the essential oil with a little bit of olive oil, like coconut, coconut oil, olive oil, any kind of um, liquid oil. And um, it's an amazing wound healer in general. It actually triggers the white blood cell activity and um, is also an amazing anti-inflammatory. Um, you can use it to kill nail fungus. You can put it directly on your toenails or fingernails um, to kill any fungus. Um, the Aboriginals used it a lot as a mouthwash um, to help with sore throat or thrush, which is a um, yeast that grows in the mouth. Um, it's also an amazing treatment for gingivitis. It's one of the most common ingredients in dandruff shampoo um, and very effective for dandruff. Um, and you can actually just add a couple drops of the essential oil to your normal shampoo and create a dandruff shampoo. Uh, it's an amazing treatment for athlete's foot, any kind of fungal or yeast infection. Um, you can use it as a wash for your fruits and veggies to prevent them from molding and um, as an all-purpose cleaner for household uses. Um, I use uh, tea tree oil in my eczema and psoriasis cream that um, is available on my website at earthberrybotanicals.com. Um, yeah, it's just a great all-purpose antifungal, antibacterial, anti-yeast, and it grows everywhere here in Western Australia. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening. 
if you like these videos and you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel. And uh, you can find more information uh, on my Instagram account at Earthberry Botanicals. So thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.